Jerry, you know if I have to be anywhere on the race course, it's going to be right here at the Maryland Zoo in Baltimore. And I'm here with Jenny Egan, who brought out an Hello. African gray parrot named Echo. And Jenny, Echo knows her name. She does know her name. And it's kind of hit or miss whether or not she says it. Hello. Um, but oh, she but does hello. say hello. So can you say hello? Hello. Good. So parrots cannot have a conversation with us, but mm -hmm. we do teach them behaviors so they can mim mimic us, which is really kind of neat. Okay, and so what behaviors do you try to teach her? Um, so we teach her some naturalistic behaviors, so climbing up and down and maybe grabbing something and putting it in something else, so things that she would naturally be doing out in the wild. All right, show us a couple of the things that yeah. she can do right here, because so I know ready, if I do my math correctly, you know, four minute miles some of the runners here. can do, they should be here very, very shortly. Ready? Come on now. All right. Good job. All right. Well, have you move a little bit out of the way there so we yeah. can see what Echo does. All right. Now, what does she like to do? So she's going to probably, hopefully, climb up this. Okay. Come on. She Come might on, be a little Echo. camera shy. Right. Come on. But she can do a variety of things. She can. She can stack cups. She can stack she, cups. What is really cool about an African parrot? Um, so these parrots are um, found in Central Africa. Uh -huh. um, so they are pretty common, unfortunately, in the pet trade, which does kind of hinder their population out in the wild. Um, so we like to talk about owning pets and making sure you do your research and, and everything like that before you go ahead and get some sort of animal, even if it's a dog or a cat. You always want to do your research. Good job. Well, and they're very obviously parrots are very, very smart. And listen, yes, bird they flu are. is a real thing right now. It is. So we're pretty lucky to be able to see her. And Absolutely. as we're watching her, we're seeing so the escort come into the Maryland Zoo. Now this hits yeah. about four miles into the marathon route. Okay. And they come in through Eagle Gate and then they come right past the penguin enclosure. If they're very, very lucky, it's a little hard with the way the sun angle is right now and with the condensation on the glass to be able to see some of the penguins who are actually out right now, but they might actually get to see some of the giant pelicans. Uh, it's very unique that these runners can come through the Maryland Zoo because this is the only marathon in the country where this happens. So Jenny, how special is that? It is so special. It really is awesome to be able to share all of our animals you know, with the guests that come into the zoo on a daily basis, even right. the runners today. It is. You guys have had some changes to your animal ambassador program, Absolutely. which is why we're right now only seeing Echo here, and we're so grateful for her, but you've tried to do more things uh, to, to protect the animals. Yeah, absolutely. So we've made a lot of changes and we do a lot of things that are on a voluntary basis now. Um, so if an animal does not want to get into a kennel, then it does not need to go with us on program and we will pick a different animal. Right, and so you stopped sort of going into the schools as well. So we did do some of that during COVID. Mm -hmm. We are starting some of those programs back up. Um, you can also kind of find us out on Raven's Walk with some of our animals that you can find out in the animal up at the embassy. But uh, not Rise and Conquer right now. Not currently, and that is due to what you were talking about earlier, and that would be avian influenza. So we want to make sure that we're keeping them safe and healthy. Um, and by doing that, we're keeping them kind of in their enclosure, but they are learning new things, which is really neat. Yeah, it's sort of the information about the bird flu changes every day. So you're really keeping an eye on the migration, migratory paths of the birds because protecting your animals is number one. Yeah, absolutely. So we we kind of we try to monitor each and every flyway every single day. We're in contact with the state veterinarians um, on a daily basis, and our bird curator and one of our veterinarians are in charge of, of keeping all of our birds safe here at the zoo. Which is pretty incredible to be able to do that and to be able to make sure that everyone is as safe as possible. It is. Again, the escorts coming through the zoo. We have some of the uh, hand peddlers coming through. We did a story earlier with Kennedy Krieger and talked about some of these guys that are doing this race today and uh, many of these athletes thought that they could never participate in a race like the Baltimore Marathon and they learned that yes there are so many ways that you can still be athletic and uh, really challenge yourself so it's awesome to see them come through. Earlier they do it an injured start for some of the runners too who need a little bit of a head start and so I cheered on the lady was coming through. She was so excited to be able to come through and she really had to zooter herself, which was very exciting. And Jenny, this has to be one of the times of the morning that you love the best. It is. It's when we get to kind of interact with our animals the most as we're doing our checks throughout the day um, and also the weather. I mean, could you get really better weather this morning too? And what does she like to eat here? Um, so she's eating a variety of nuts and out, uh -huh. out in the wild, she would be eating fruits and nuts and seeds and, and all sorts of other, other kind of vegetables, things like that, vegetation. She'll chew on logs, everything. I wonder, I wonder, would you mind, Jenny, very much holding yeah. her so that the yeah. runners can see her because they're starting to come through? We'll see if she that. wants to okay, participate if she'll, if she'll here. If she'll participate. Come on. 
We'll just sort of walk just a, maybe a Good little bit job. closer to the path that yeah, we Yeah, absolutely. It's always one of the really exciting things as these runners are coming through. Remember one year we had the uh, penguin ambassadors out here and when runners came through and they actually saw that it was a live penguin, not a statue, they literally jumped and then jumped back and started smiling. And even some of the runners that were really, I could tell were really pacing themselves, they took a moment to stop and take pictures. So we'll have to see if that's the case with our little African great parrot echo here. But uh, you know, what a beautiful morning. I mean, we had sort of worried earlier in the week that there might have been some rain and that was so nice that it cleared out yesterday morning for them to do race setup. And now here we are at the zoo. It's just a little bit of chill in the air, but that's not stopping these runners at all as they're coming through. Of course, we know they're going to be shedding layers throughout the day, but the sun is super bright as it's up over the penguin enclosure. And so that's what the runners are going to face as they're coming through. They may not even notice that there's an African gray parrot out here. And certainly these runners are super fast. They're coming through and they don't even have anyone behind them right now. What's going to be really fun to watch, Jenny, and I don't know if you've seen yeah. this before, is when the whole pack comes through. I have. I know. Yeah. Look, we have you tethered. I'm, I'm sorry. Tethered. We're going we're to have, it's like a dance partner. <laughs> it is like a dance I'm gonna partner. I'm going to move we're gonna you. I'm going to move yeah. you this way just a little bit yeah. so that we can see you just Absolutely. a little bit more. But she says more than just her name. She says more than just hello. Can you yeah. do the one that I love so much? Yeah. Can you yeah. do me a favor and yes. grab me those nuts over Absolutely. there? Absolutely. I'll grab you anything Thank you want. Thank you so much. You got it. Because of course, you know, she works on trees. She does. Don't we all? Can you say, here, here, here kitty, kitty. Good. She says meow, which is great. Good. Yeah, so we do a lot of things for Echo. They're highly intelligent mm -hmm. parrots. So we do a lot of things for her to keep her enriched, um, to keep her kind of going. So we're trying to teach her new things all the time. So she can also, can you quack? Quack, quack. Well, you're trying to you're trying to keep them active. You want them Absolutely. to be as healthy as possible. Yeah, as healthy as possible. And Hello. also we kind of challenge them mm -hmm. too. So, you know, Echo, while she might be a little camera shy today, she can climb, she learns her colors, she can do all sorts of different things. It's awesome. So when people come are coming back to the zoo, you know, a lot of folks stayed indoors because of COVID yep. and you're seeing more and more people come out. Yeah. What you have to tell me that probably one of the one, number one things they ask about is the polar bear exhibit, which, um, yes. you know, it went away, but it went away for a good reason. Yeah, so it, it, we actually still have bears in there, not polar bears, but we have our grizzly bears, um, and they are actually getting ready to hibernate for the season. Hi guys! They are getting ready to hibernate for the season, which is really neat. Um, so it's been interesting to be able to utilize that enclosure in a different way. <laughs> The team's really enjoying it. That is so awesome. Well, I'm going to be your advertiser here. Okay, okay? yep, so as absolutely. Coming by, I'm going to let them know that you've got this parrot. I'm going to spin you this way yep. just a little bit so we can walk sort of out of the yeah, way. Yeah, absolutely. Almost so that we're getting you. I'm going to turn you this way. All right, there you here go. I am. You're such a good dance partner. Yeah, thanks. Like I'm so good. Best dance yep. I'm movable in a long, long time. and trainable. I love it. And Echo, thank goodness she's not afraid of me. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Maryland Zoo. We have an African gray parrot Hi guys. for you to take a look at. Look Say focused they are they are so of course they're focused they're, they're running, they're running. A marathon they have a, a pace and a time to keep up which is pretty incredible how has the petting zoo been doing really good um so we're open from 12 30 to 4 every single day we have lots of kids that go in there they can't brush the goats but they can still pet the goats oh, oh that's awesome yeah now, how come they can't brush the goats? um just because the brushes are are due to covid and disinfecting them and all of that but they can Too absolutely to still touch the goats with that yep. all right and what about the giraffes are they still able to feed the browse Absolutely. To the giraffes. Yep, we still have that every day as well. That has to be one of the most popular things to be able to it do. It is. Too. It is really fun because when can else can you feed a giraffe? I mean, it's sweet. when else can you see those long tongues come I out know. and grab those brows? I that they know. Love to it's eat. pretty fantastic. It's so interesting to me, Jenny. I'm going to turn you this way yep. too a little bit. Um, it's interesting to me because usually once the first fast runners come through, the pack Hello. just starts coming in. So oh, I think we're finally starting to see a, a few more trickling in. Uh, I'm not a runner myself, so I don't know what that's. <laughs> like to like pace either. myself with somebody else but if I had to run anywhere it would be this half a mile through the zoo if they're lucky they will be able to see those giant pelicans yep over absolutely on the other side. especially right. as the sun starts to come out a little bit more and that starts to warm up a little which bit. is nice I mean that's yeah. kind of the cool things about being able to run through a zoo oh, is to yeah. be able to see some of the animals and they're gonna run right past the African and the journey area there yeah they are they might they might be able to see something else along the way but most likely they're just gonna stick with pelicans and penguins today all right, and this morning was a little bit chillier right. for her, so we're so happy to have her out here. I'm happy to have her, too. All right, well, we're going to keep an eye on things out here at the Maryland Zoo as the runners are coming through, and pretty soon that huge crush of runners are going to come through, and when they do, we're going to be here because I'll be saying, hey, stop and look at Echo because she wants company, and we do, too.